Delete queries are used to delete large amounts of data quickly or to regularly perform the same delete operations. A query can help you make sure that you are deleting the correct data and can be saved and then easily repeated. Like all other action queries, you can't undo the effects of a delete query. However, a delete query is much more dangerous than the other action queries because there is no way to get back the accidentally deleted data. Creating a delete query is no different than creating a select query. While a select query displays the records that match your criteria, a delete query deletes those records. For example, let us delete orders placed in 2019 from order history. On the Create tab, in the Queries group, click on Query Design, click on Delete in the Query Type group, add the table Order History from which to delete records, add the Order ID and Order Date fields, where appears in the Delete cell indicating the fields can be used as the criteria to select which records will be deleted. Use a criteria to return only the records that you want to delete. Otherwise, the delete query removes every record in the table. Enter this criteria in the criteria row of order date to delete orders in 2019. Before you run a delete query, you should always preview the results in datasheet view first. On the query design tab in the results group, click on view, then click on datasheet view. Verify that the query returns the records that you want to delete. Return to design view. Run the query. Access displays the message showing you the number of rows you are about to delete and warns you that you won't be able to undo this action. Click on S to confirm and delete the records. Open the table order history. All orders placed in 2019 are deleted. Sometimes you may have to delete records from one table based on the records from another table. This task is relatively easy. However, many users get stuck on it because of one simple mistake. We have two tables, customers A and customers B. Customers B have customers from West and South region which are also in customers A. To remove these records from customers A, you can use the delete query. On the create tab, click on query design, click on delete, add customers A and customers B, create an inner join between the tables. To delete records from customers A which are also in customers B, add the customer ID field from customers A. Switch to Datasheet view. It displays the records to be deleted. Switch to Design view and click on Run. Access will display the message asking you to specify which table contains the records you want to delete. Unfortunately, this message doesn't clearly state what you need in order to fix the issue. The solution is simple. First, clear the query grid by deleting the customer ID field. Next, double click on the asterisk in the customers A table. This explicitly tells Access the customers A table contains the records you want to delete. Notice that from appears in the delete cell indicating that the records will be deleted from the customer's A table. Now click on run to run the delete query. Click on S to confirm and delete the records. Open customer's A and see that the records have been deleted. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.